Oi, tudo bem? Welcome back to Portuguese Lessons. This is part three here with Professor Jason, part three of pronouncing consonant letters and sounds in Brazilian Portuguese. Okay, in this final, I hope, and concluding segment, we're going to go from the letter S straight on through Z. Okay, so bear with me, stick with me here, and we'll get this done. All right, um, S has several pronunciations. It's, it's, it's a little bit complicated, so bear with me on the letter S. All right, at the beginning of a word or a syllable, S sounds like the S in the English word sun. Okay, examples sol, sentir, sonso, falso. Okay, sol, sentir, sonso, falso. All right, S between a single S between two vowels is pronounced like a Z. Okay, examples coisa, mesa, coisa, mesa. Okay? Now, at the very end, in other words, before a pause, before a period of a word, okay, it has an S sound or perhaps an SH uh, flavor in the Carioca dialect. Okay? So it might be caras at the end of a sentence or tenis, okay? or perhaps caras tenis okay? in Rio de Janeiro. Okay? Now, that's at the very end. Now, sometimes words with S's come before words with other sounds, either um, vowels or consonants. If the S at the end of a word or a syllable okay, comes before a voiceless consonant, those are C, F, P, Q, S, and T, it's going to have an S sound. Okay? So S in syllable final or word final position before a voiceless consonant is S, or SH sh in Rio de Janeiro. Escola, esquecer, esperar, estudar, os senhores, as folhas. So the final S in word or syllable final position sounds like S before a voiceless consonant. Okay? Again, no Rio de Janeiro, in Rio, it might be escola, esquecer, esperar, estudar. Okay? So it's S or SH. Now, that same position, word or syllable final, but before a voiced consonant, right? Those are B, D, G, L, M, N, um, R, or V. It's going to sound like a Z, okay? Or a Z, either Z or Z, depending on the dialect, okay? So we have mesmo, Lisboa, as mãos, nos bancos, os amigos. Again, these might be in Rio de Janeiro, mesmo, Lisboa, as mãos, nos bancos, os amigos, perhaps, okay? But again, there is a difference between S in syllable final or word final position before um, vowels or before voiced and unvoiced consonants. So you might have to rewind this part to sort of untangle all of that, okay? It's either S or Z or SH or J, all right? Now, again, a couple of double letter um, combinations involving S. Double S, okay, is always as the English S, and it appears internally in words. Nossa, passo, okay. Nossa, passo. So when they want the double, the S sound, s, sun, between, in the interior of words, okay, they have to use a double S spelling. Nossa, passo, okay. The SC combination okay, comes before usually the letters E and I, and it sounds like an English S in the word sun. Nacer, disciplina. Nacer, disciplina. SC before E or I is S. Okay? Now, S, sigilia, comes before um, other vowels such as O or A. Okay? Many times in verbs. Here's an example, desu or um, desa, the subjunctive form of the same verb, okay? So it's S with a sigilia, has the S sound before O or A, desu, desa, okay? Okay, moving on to T. T is a little bit problematic and I've had several emails and requests about the pronunciation of T. In word or syllable initial position, before the vowels A, or a, or u, u, okay, a, e, or u, has the t sound similar to English. 
tudo tela fato lista okay actually that's before the vowels u o a or e okay tudo tela fato lista okay let me see here all right now the t before the vowel i is always pronounced as the english ch okay chiu chimi okay chiu chimi all right so that's t before the vowel i in any position chiu chimi okay now the same t at the end of a word before a final unstressed vowel e has that same ch pronunciation look closely t at the end of a word before a final unstressed vowel e genshi amanchi vinci okay genshi amanchi vinci okay sechi is another example again in the dialect that i'm describing the letter v is pronounced as in english right vazio lavar estivi vazio lavar estivi with the upper teeth on the lower lip okay w is very rare it's only used in borrowed words and names okay washington okay sounds like an english w some speakers may pronounce it more like a v washington washington okay depending now on to the letter x or shis in portuguese this one is very tricky probably the most unpredictable pronunciation uh, letter to sound correspondences in brazilian portuguese at the beginning of a word it sounds like the english sh in the word show examples xadrez xícara xeretar okay xadrez xícara xeretar okay now before a consonant other than c before a consonant other than c it sounds like the english s okay extra exploração or perhaps sh in heel extra exploração extra exploração okay now the prefix ex okay the prefix ex before a vowel is pronounced as the z okay exame exato exame exato okay between other vowels it varies and this is why i said it's unpredictable a little bit so between other vowels okay the sound of the x can vary it can either be sh sh as in tasha or lixo it can be ks as in fixo or taxi or it can simply be s as in próximo or máximo okay so again between other vowels usually not um, immediately preceding e which we see more at the beginning of words but between other vowels it can vary taxa lixo fixo taxi próximo máximo okay and before i mentioned um before consonants other than c because x c is another one of those two letter combinations that has a single sound x c appears before the consonant vowels or the vowels e or i and it has the s sound okay examples excelente excitação okay so it's a little bit hard to predict that one x c before e or i is has an s sound excelente excitação okay let me pronounce again these these words with with uh, x you can just see them quickly xadrez xícara xeretar extra exploração exame exato taxa li, taxa lixo fixo táxi próximo máximo excelente excitação okay why is very rare only appears in borrowed foreign words nova york z at the beginning of a word or syllable initial or between vowels is like the z in english zero azul dúzia at the end of words it's usually like the s sound pas arroz luz ok 
Okay, and we're out of time. Thanks for watching uh, Brazilian Consonant Pronunciation Part 3. Até logo. Tchau.